Welcome to the Heart Led Soul Fed Podcast. I'm Christine Gold. This is season four. This is all about your spiritual awakening. And if you really enjoy and love this show, please rate, review, and share. This week's episode is all about the full moon in Gemini, the planetary alignments and energies, moving into the 1212 portal, which will eventually take us into the solstice. Past guests include professional numerologist and author Novali Wilder, the author of Soul Sourced Entrepreneur Christine Kane, Christian De La Hurta, transformation teacher, author of Awakening the Soul of Power and TEDx Speaker, Sean Leonard, Migma Medium, the author of The Language of Spirit and TV host of Spirit Talker on APTN. I guide empaths and old souls to overcome anxiety, unworthiness, and overwhelm so they can unleash their gifts and find their purpose. You're worthy. You matter. You're here for a reason. You have purpose. My first book, Intuition Saved My Life, is a guide for empaths, lightworkers, and sensitives, and it's available on Amazon now. And join me each month to unleash your soul. It's a monthly space to intuitive write, create, connect, and channel your higher self. It's time for the 2023 Dream It, Vision It, Map It workshop, January 15th, 2023, absolutely free. The link is below. Isn't it time you followed your dreams? Join me in a very sacred group for six weeks of magic, mediumship, intuitive development, and more. And if you're looking for the ultimate transformation, Unleash Your Purpose is one year with myself. Isn't it time to love yourself? Our Soul Healers community launches on my birthday, January 2nd, 2023. Replays can be found anywhere you watch your favorite videos or listen to your favorite podcast. Please like, subscribe, and follow, and join us live every Wednesday, 3 p.m. Mountain. Hello, everyone. Come on in. Come on in. This is the Heart Led Soul Fed podcast. I'm Christine Gold. I, of course, am a medium, mentor, podcaster, author, creator, just like you are. And really, we're all here. We're all ascending. We're all awakening. We're all healing together. Because if 2022 taught us anything, we're really stepping into who we are, who we're meant to be, who we always have been. And of course, uh, today is the full moon in Gemini. Gemini, do we have any full moon lovers out there? Let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know on the replay. Uh, let me know what you like to do on a full moon. Um, I, I mean, I see people take lots of pictures. I know I like to take them. Um, uh, sometimes, you know, there's dancing under the moonlight, you know, depending on the temperature and where you are in the world, uh, making moon water, you know, smudging all, you know, cleansing, detoxing. That's really what this full moon, what every full moon is all about. And I also have a full moon magic tips and tricks, a free ebook. Uh, the link is below if you want it. If you can't find it, let me know as well. We won't leave you hanging. So yeah, you know, the twin energy and this energy is aligning with Mars. So the meaning of the full moon in astrology, thanks to um, Astrology King, uh, he relates to self-assertion, sexuality and aggression. I mean, Mars is all about war, right? So um, this full moon coincides with the lunar link with Mars, obviously, and it makes it more powerful and highly unique. Um, 
there's been a lot of anger in, in the air. So during this extremely, you know, they say everything's rare, celestial, everything is coming to the forefront. We know Mars is in retrograde. It's hidden by the moon. And we all know what happens on the moon. Anything that is in the dark will be illuminated. And it really helps you understand your primal warrior um, and how it affects those around you. So this is really just a special opportunity to adjust your behavior and atone for past hurts. You know, atonement, there, there's a word uh, right there that, that really spells it out. Um, oh, thank you, Gitte. Hello. Yes, thank you. Yes, and I'm sure the full moon is shining. I've seen, you know, people sharing pictures in Sedona and Australia, uh, in the UK. Where, where are you in the world? Um, we've got uh, Gitte in Denmark. I'm in Canada. And uh, I, I love all of these energies. And really, these are just guidelines. You know, there's no right and no wrong way of doing anything. And I think the time has come where we are our own inner authority and we're just here to share creating community you know moving out of that piscean dark you know stuck colonialism patriarch all of that moving into the golden age of aquarius which is about community and humanitarianism and what does that mean and look like for you what does that feel like for you. For me, it's one small act. We don't have to have some grand gesture. Um, in fact, I just caught something on the on the TV and it was called the magic of Christmas here in Calgary. And something my son and I would do every year, meaning we would dress up as elves, we would get on the city bus on Christmas Eve and deliver gifts to families who literally had nothing. Now, we know that a lot, and I don't know about you, but there's a lot of Ukrainians uh, that have come to Calgary as well. So there is a huge need, and I feel like there's a huge need all over the world. So wherever, however you can do it, and if you don't have money, that's fine. Time, energy, prayer, you know, buying someone a coffee, um, saying a kind word. That, you know, th these are all small gestures that add up to big things. So what can you do? Um, you know, this is a giving season. Really, it's, it's 365 days a year, not just one day. And many people are cutting back due to, you know, rising food costs, um, gas prices, you know, inflation, all these things that the media likes to focus on. And that's all I'm going to say. You guys know the truth. I don't have to tell you what's up. You can decide for yourself right? So let's go back to um, how we feel. And this 12, 12 portal, love numbers, and really repeating numbers are spiritual sequences that are calling. It's a calling card from the universe. And they're used to communicate to us and send subtle messages of guidance. Are you listening? Are you paying attention? They signal to our higher consciousness that something divine is happening. You are ready for an upgrade. And this, that's what the 1212 portal is all about. Upgrades, light codes, ascensions. And the spiritual meaning of the angel number 1212 symbolizes your spiritual growth. It's a manifestation of your intentions. And it's an awareness of your infinite being. And this is one of the most powerful number sequences in the universe. And if you experience it, you are about to go through a major shift. Maybe you've already felt it. A period of incredible growth and abundance. 1212 showers us with optimism <laughs> as it grants us the positive frame of mind that we need to steer our thoughts, where are we going, you're the driver, towards the realization of our ambitions. If we continue to exude unwavering faith, like the mighty, mighty rock, in who we are and what we stand for and we won't fall for, we will be blessed, we are blessed 
with divine energy and power. You already are. So who is welcoming in this portal? Who is welcoming in this energy? Comment below. I want to hear about it. Also do all those beautiful things to like and, and share and subscribe and, um, you know, really gather in because really we're here for a time. This is our time. This is your time. What are you going to do with time? What are you going to do with your energy? You have to know it, think it, feel it, see it, breathe it. It is, it is who you are. We are, you know, divine already. We have already atoned. Have you forgiven yourself? Have you forgiven others? Are you looking to cut cords? I have a beautiful guided meditation just for that. You can find it on YouTube. There are many ways to release and detox. That's what this full moon, every full moon is about. It's about release and detox and practice, rinse, repeat, you know, um, and you not only having to do it the same way all the time either, you can have fun with it. And I'm reminded of altars and sanctuary and sacred space. An altar, you can put all of your ancestors in this space and just honor them. And I know today is, uh, was, uh, we're remembering Pearl Harbor as well. So there's a lot of remembrance, uh, remembering going on right now as especially when you're close to christmas there's a lot of memories i don't know about you but i i've seen um the fairmont banff uh, reel of their amazing gingerbread house and it reminded me of what every year was a tradition we would build gingerbread houses together it was so much fun even for me and i want to go and just do it for myself <laughs> even if i don't have kids i mean put the tree up put the lights up put up whatever you need um, you know, to, to make you feel it really, it's about feeling good. It's about the feeling of every moment. And when you're present in that, everything changes. Oh, I've got my little kitty Zeta here. She thought she'd come and join me. She must've known something was going on. Don't, don't all animals know that? Right. Or meditation frequency, you know, the cat's there, the cat knows. Um, it's just amazing. So, uh, if animals and I mean the the earth, the healing frequencies of the earth, right? It's <laughs> it's it it is we are vibrationally energetic beings. So, how can you align with everything that's happening in this full moon energy? So make sure you take time, self-care practicing self-love as much as possible, taking care of yourselves, maybe switching up your exercise routine, your, um, your eating habits. Uh, I know myself, I've been uh, doing more um, body weight exercises. I went on YouTube. I was looking for Pilates. I found this 30 minute routine. And every time it, the, the um, buzzer hit, we were switching and it was only for 30 seconds. And I absolutely loved it. And I sweat like crazy. That's another thing. Inflammation. You need to sweat. You, if you want to detox, you need to sweat. So you've got to get your heart rate up. You need to sweat. Whether you're in a sauna, you're working out, it, it's, you know, part of our lymphatic system and keeping ourselves highly vibrational. We're aligning to people, places, things, and food, lifestyle. It's all encompassing. It's who we are are as well. I, I tend to hear, you know, there's, there weren't a lot of turkeys. Some people can't find Christmas trees. Um, people are having to cut back on their shopping and, and on their food, which is fantastic actually, because we waste so much. So this is discerning what we're buying, what we're eating, what we're doing. And we are upgrading and, you know, vibrating higher. And as we do, we have to shed all of the things that were heavy and no longer aligned with who we are, right? I don't know about you, but when I tune into myself, meditate, whatever that spiritual practice is, I always feel so much better than when I came in thinking, you know, ego thinking, mm, this is not going to work. Oh, that's crazy. 
How do I stop my thoughts? You know, all that stuff, all that garbage, all those lies. Because when you reach a new level, there's a new devil. Hmm. Think about that. Think about it and do something about it. <laughs> oh, Gitte, yeah, little little Zeta just for you. She's commenting on the black kitty. And uh, thanks, Spencer Murphy, for joining me on Instagram. I see you, and thanks for the messages and 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 the love as well. So let me know if you have any questions um, in regards to the full moon. Uh, in, in regards to astrology, in regards to the 1212 portal, got to give Zeta some love because she, I think she's hungry, but it's not her dinner time for another hour and a half. So I'm not sure what's going on. And of course, animals will feel the full moon energies, right? So if they're a little off and wonky, you know, that's, it's normal. It's, is what it is. They're feeling the vibrational energy. So how can we tune in and just calm everybody down. Just as my mom would say, chill out. Right. <laughs> All right. So yeah, it's the, the 1212 portal, the full moon, they're all coinciding and um, bringing us into, I want to share this 2023. I'm doing a visioning energy, a free solstice broadcast because we've got the solstice coming up too. Um, again, so you're going from the, the full moon to the 12, 12, and this is the last full moon of 2022. Um, so 12, 12 to 12, 21. Do you, do you see the, do you see the synchronicity here? Do you see the messages here? This is absolutely free. And then I'll go into what to look for and feel about 2023. So I would absolutely love to see you there. Uh, as well, we are ready. Um, I mean, I don't know if you caught it, but the December energy update is already out on YouTube. Go ahead and check that out. I'm going to have more amazing guests for 2023. Um, really diving deep in, you know, and how to be, you know, the new human, the upgraded human, the upgraded vibrational being. Um, because if you're not learning and growing and you're not thriving how can you if you stay in your little cave and you never come out you know even the bear bear behind me on this canoe um comes out of hibernation so <laughs> come on <laughs> Yes. So the energy update is out as well. I've got a uh, six week. Um, this is kind of like dip your toe in really, you know, um, lights up your vibrational being, your intuitive gifts, everything, the magic of who you are as a being. Um, I've put through many, many women uh, for that. And then unleash your purpose, unleash your soul's purpose. This is one year deep dive with myself. If you're looking to completely change careers, do a complete 180, become a healer, become a light worker, whatever that is, become a coach. I will guide you through the whole process as I was guided because that's really what it's about is I teach one, you go teach one or 20 or 50 or 100. That's why we're here. That's why you're watching. That's why you're listening to this. You know, you know this already. And I've seen a lot of comments. Um, I've been commenting or watching a lot of Sylvia Brown's work. Um, I, long story short, I astral travel with her. Um, we have a, a past life connection. But her son, Chris Dufresne, has taken over her account. And, you know, he's a, he's a psychic as well. But um, he's talking about, um, you know, just how we can upgrade our you know, mediumship, our psychic abilities, our intuitive abilities. That's who we are naturally. And there were a lot of people on there going, oh my goodness, I get intrusive thoughts. I feel crazy. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if that's true. I don't know what to do with all of this. Well, that's a sign to step into, to believe, to lead with your heart. And it's time for you to step into who you truly are. And a lot of us, like myself, realize we've had this since we were a child, but we were told 
we don't talk about that. That's crazy. That's witchcraft. That's you're going to hell. Whatever that was, all that religion and all that ego bullshit. No more. No more. I'm declaring this today. And a declaration means it stops with me. And it stops with you. Okay. So I want you to have the most amazing season. Now, I know that there are people that are, you know, have lost loved ones. This is a, uh, a tough time lost pets, lost jobs, lost homes, don't have the money, are homeless, are struggling with mental health, uh, struggling, you know, have a, a, an illness, whatever that is. We are all praying for you. And if you need help, please reach out. Please reach out. There's someone that's been where you have been. And you just have to take the first step. And if you're listening to this, you can start with just, you know what, I'm, I'm struggling. I need help. I'm, you know, I can barely keep my head above water. Okay, we've got you. We've got you. That reminds me of um, a verse on the Bible, in the Bible that I heard yesterday. Isaiah 44, chapter 1 and 2. I'm remembering this now. And he's talking about... Um, uh, Joshua, and he says to him, I got you. We got you. All right. Well, I love you so much. And uh, look out for next week's episode. We are going to be talking about alcohol, addictions, sobriety, and all of that. You know, a lot of us struggle with alcohol, including myself. I stopped drinking almost three weeks ago. Anyways, that's another story for next week. And as you being part of the community, I want to know, you know, where are you from? If this is the first time, the replay, say hello, do all that beautiful stuff. And each month we feature a health-related topic. So please let me know what you'd like to see for future shows or who you'd like to see for future shows. Um, I'm always welcoming um, beautiful souls that are on the path and have a passion and purpose to share it with the world. All right. I'm sending you so much love. Take care. And please remember, healing begins where the ego ends and let us be your soft landing. You don't need to crash. See you next week. Do you feel stuck? Are you in pain? Are you looking to create your soul's purpose, but you don't know where to start? Unleash your soul's purpose mentorship. Hi, my name is Christine Gold, and I'm the founder of 24 Karat Healing. The highly experimental mentorship will help you discover your gifts, free them, and shine your inner light to spread unconditional love unleashing your magic and your gifts and ultimately your purpose. You will experience phenomenal breakthroughs, aha moments, epiphanies, energy healing, clearings, inner child work, higher intuition, vivid dream recall. All training slides, PDFs and audio meditations are recorded and available for you to watch at any time you can take them with you wherever you go. I hope to see you soon.